Well, here's a quick walk around video of the truck. I've been home a week today. Done a lot of cleaning. Done a lot of uh, minor maintenance. Still needs a little bit of uh, detail work under the hood. But 460, all of the original wiring that they did on the show. It's pretty well a stock 460. It's got headers and a aluminum intake, 750 carburetor. I think they put a better distributor on it on the show, but uh, I've done an oil change. New battery cables, because they were just shot. Uh, new spark plugs. The other ones were black. Probably saw those in the other pictures. Dulcich put those wheels on it last year, I believe. They're Vision 15 by 8s all the way around. Yes, I am going to keep the Chevy mirrors. That's what it's known for, so they're going to stay on it. The uh, crappy exhaust pipe that you saw in the Roadkill Extra that's dangling that Steve was playing with. Yep, it still dangles. So that's one of the upgrades I am planning to do with the truck. I want it to sound a little better, so I'm going to take the exhaust and I'm going to route it right there because I think it looks clean coming out underneath the step. I'm going to give it a little bit more sound, but probably still keep it a little quiet. Uh, the, uh, the hitch that they made, still on it. So. I talked Dulcich into giving me one of the wheels while I was there off of the original version of it so that I could have it for a spare. Yep, the uh, the gas tank from when it was a bootlegger. Uh, actually, I don't know what you call a bootlegger, but uh, it was a uh, it was a weed running truck. They did not run alcohol in it. Steve told me it was actually for running marijuana. So, the original taillights from the show are still there. Let's see, I put a couple of stickers from my trip. So, it's got uh, a couple extra stickers in it now. So, <clears throat> I cleaned all the bugs off of it today. The spotlight's still on it. Yep, it still does work. It's fairly dim, but it does turn on and do what it's supposed to. The uh, eight grand tack is still there. The only functioning gauge on the dash is the fuel gauge, and that came in handy on the way home. There's the gauges they wired up. The crappy B&M shifter that still does work but only works when it wants to yes the air still does blow ice cold I checked it out in the Mojave uh, let's see got Dulcich to scribble on the uh, glove box for me <clears throat> it does have a crack in the glass it's been there for a long time I don't know if you can even notice it in the show I never did but Right through the uh, windshield, there's a crack top to bottom. The truck is surprisingly 95% rust free. There is a little bit uh, in the step on the other side. And uh, a little bit in the passenger fender. And a little bit in the rocker. But it shows good patina. It's actually a wood bed. So... The wood bed has seen better days, so I might upgrade that eventually. So, you can see right there, there is a little bit of the rust coming through right there. So, I don't know how long I can make this video, but you can see right there, some of the rust coming through on the fender and the door. There's the Pikes Peak car. The 67 Biscayne from episode 82 of actual roadkill. 
That's the Pikes Peak car. Motor's been swapped out. Transmission's been swapped out. It's got a 350 turbo 350 in it now that's been rebuilt. Uh, doesn't have the ratty bench seat anymore. It's got a pair of police car bucket seats. Still runs and drives great. I actually bought a 12 bolt for it the other day. I'm gonna switch it to a 12 bolt. Some of the original stickers from Roadkill. But anyway, that's the truck. Uh, I'll try to do a quick little about who I am. So, uh, I'm Matt Hogan. I actually used to work with Hot Rod Magazine back starting in 2013. I helped with the uh, Drag Week event. I was one of the tech inspectors for Drag Week. So I had a little bit of an in with the guys. I've known David Freiberger since 2013, since he is a big part of Drag Week. Um, when uh, Dulcich put this up for sale, I was able to call David Freiberger and have him get me in touch with Dulcich and me and Dulcich made the deal pretty quick. So that's a little bit about me since I do have a little bit of an end with the guys. Um, but uh, I enjoy cars with a story. I also own two of the 69 Fastback Mustangs from the movie John Wick. And I own the 70 SS Chevelle from the John Wick movie series as well. So I like movie cars, I like TV show cars, I like stuff with a story. So um, I've got two restoration projects going on and both of them were my old, uh, my grandparents' old trucks, both of my granddad's old trucks. I got two square bodies I'm building, an uh, 87 half ton GMC and a 79 one ton welding truck. So. But uh, I like stuff with a story. I've had all of the cool cars. I've had plenty of Camaros and Novas and Mustangs. and I've had everything that you can think of. Hot rods and fun toys. But I've gotten to where I enjoy uh, cars that have a little bit more of a story. And since I know the guys, it helps out to be able to pick up some of these, uh, these cool rides that were on the roadkill shows. So, but... Uh, this one, I actually found it on Facebook Marketplace. The, uh, the guy was nice enough to sell it to me and uh, I shipped it in from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And of course, this one I bought straight from Steve Dulcich himself. Went to the farm, picked it up, drove 2,107 miles home. And the only issue that I had in the entire trip other than a little bit of a hard start issue is right here that bolt came loose and killed the battery so I tightened the bolt back down and got it jumped off by a guy that was nice enough to stop and give me a hand cranked it up drove it the rest of the way in zero more issues so it's uh it's pretty cool to own fun to have if you guys got any more questions, I'll be happy to try to answer them. I'm going to try to keep it as much original as I can. I'd like to up the horsepower a little bit. Uh, it, uh, For being a 460, it, it needs a little help. So, the uh, But that's pretty much it, guys. So there's the truck. That's a little bit about me in a nutshell. Uh, there's both of my cars that I have here at the house. And uh, since it's nice... Memorial Day, I figured I would uh, knock out a little video. Thanks for sticking around. This is going to end up being about a 10 minute long video. So if you've watched it all, thanks for following my trip. Thanks for following along with me. Keep up with me uh, on Instagram. I'm mhogan529. You can follow me there. Also, I'll try to keep posting on the Roadkill page. So appreciate it, guys. Thanks a lot.